Now at 7, more than 100 physicians, nurses and staff coming together as part of the White Coats Black Lives Matter movement. Just check out this powerful image right there, showing them taking a knee for 8 minutes, 46 seconds. The same amount of time George Floyd was restrained by his neck. News 6's Carolina Cardona was there for the moment of silence. Almost 100 physicians, nurses and staff came together as part of the White Coats Black Lives Movement. They showed their support by taking a knee for 8 minutes and 46 seconds, the same time George Floyd was restrained by his neck. They came outside Nemours Children's Hospital wearing their white coats and face masks, all joining in solidarity and with hopes their demonstration, like so many others, will not go in vain. It's a really important moment for all of us to reflect on not just the most recent events, but events that have been going on for far too long in this country to recognize the moment, to remember what has gone and kind of reflect on what we can change and what can be different in the future. We're recognizing that, you know, racism does impact our patients. Um, you know, we frequently talk about the social determinants of health, but we also recognize that racism is an overlay on all of the social determinants of health. Dr. Lana Gordon is one of the physicians who organized the event. They're part of the White Coats for Black Lives movement. For almost nine minutes, they took a knee in silence. It's not just how we do law enforcement, it's how we treat everyone as human beings. We want the community to understand that we're not tone deaf, we, we hear you, we understand this plight and that we're in this fight as well. She recalled the pain she felt as she watched George Floyd's last minutes of life. As a physician, we're trained to recognize when someone dies. And I recognize the exact moment that George Floyd died. A death that's affected communities across the globe who have joined the cause. Continue to support this cause and continue to try and make the change. You know, the reason why we're standing here and doing this today is again for the lives that have already been lost, but we hope in the future it makes a change. Please, guys, let's just continue to try and make a change. In Orlando, Carolina Cardona, News 6.